Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome to another episode of Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly, and in today's episode, we are going to take a look at how to speed up your build process with placeholder imagery without ever having to leave the Cornerstone Builder. So let's go ahead and create a quick layout here from scratch. Let's say that we're working on a page where we have a pretty standard layout here where we have text on the left. So let's go ahead and do something like this. We'll add a headline. This headline will make it a little larger and bold. So it looks like a headline. We'll add some text in there and we'll add a button. So we're going to have something like this here. Now, as you guys may have seen in one of the other videos where we took a look at Flexbox Gap, I'm simply going to come into this column here, turn on Flexbox, make sure that we're on a vertical flex direction here, and we'll set our gap to 1M all around to just space things out kind of nicely there. And that's looking pretty good. And then just for some opinionated design here, I'm going to add a white background to this, and maybe we add some uh, padding here, something like this all the way around. And now I think that's looking pretty good. Now on this side, we want to have an image, and I'm going to set a min height for this image of something like 300 pixels for now just so that there is some sort of min height on this when it scales down so now what we'll go ahead and do is duplicate this row here and in this row we'll go ahead and just add some top and bottom margin here to space things out nicely now in this row here what I want to do is swap my columns so that it's now image left and text right and then I'm just gonna add a few more of these just to sort of create a rough page design that we might be working on here now that we have that done we want to add in some images now normally you might click here and if this is a placeholder that you're creating you might go out and find some stock and then save that stock and then import that stock into your site but what if you could streamline that completely simply by clicking on the column clicking on advanced and going into our image element here and then in the source we can simply type in https colon slash slash source dot unsplash dot com forward slash random and as soon as we do that, it'll pull a random image in here. But what if this first headline here was something about cars, something like cars are awesome. And we wanted this image to be somewhat relevant to what we're showing here. Well, we can simply come in here and where we have random, we would then add forward slash question mark and type in cars. And now we're going to see a car here. Now let's say this one was also about cars. So cars are fun, right? Now we can grab this column two, simply paste that over here. But the problem is if I go ahead and save this and open this up in a new tab, you're going to notice that they always will choose the same image on the front end. If I refresh, it's always going to choose the same image. And the reason is because we need to add a unique identifier to the end of our URL here. So we could add cars and one and now this one is always going to be different than this one here so if i save and jump out to the front end and look at this now they're always different but this is kind of tough to remember because then you have to keep track of oh where did i use number one versus number two versus number three or what number am i on now so how could we make this a little more dynamic well we can actually delete that one and we'll come into our dynamic content here and we are going to type in unique ID and this is going to generate a unique ID to the end of this URL every single time so now I could just save this URL for cars here and simply paste that in both of these now I can simply grab my column and paste this anywhere that I'm using it and now if I go ahead and save and view this on the front end every one of these is going to have a unique ID when the front end is loaded so they won't duplicate their images coming from unsplash now we can get even more sophisticated let's say we wanted this one here to be about nature we could say nature is awesome and now instead of cars in here we want to make sure that we change our random category to nature and now we're going to see something to do with nature here and then we can do the same thing in this one down here and now when we view this on the front end and we have our unique identifiers in there we have cars cars nature nature now we could get more specific right we could say instead of nature we want this category in this one here to be trees and so we'll go ahead and type in trees and then save and now when we load this on the front end we're always going to get something from the trees category so this is a nice simple way to toss in some dynamic placeholder while you're working on your designs as always i hope you guys find these videos useful and i will see you guys in the next video happy building